Y bueno, después de hablar con Jack Hollis, que es el vicepresidente de Mercado de la Toyota, nos subimos a la tondra para tener la experiencia y conocer un poco más de los detalles de específicamente en este caso de la Toyota Tundra. Tuvimos eh, la oportunidad de dar la vuelta en esta pista off-road con un experto de la Toyota que nos va a dar todos los detalles. Por cierto, les recomiendo que vayan a nuestra página de YouTube eh, para que vean la experiencia que tuvimos con la Toyota Tundra ahí en el Auto Show de Chicago. All right, so today we're going to give you a little demonstration ride of the new 2015 Toyota Pro Series Tundra uh, on our course here at the Chicago Auto Show. So, obviously you see our new Pro Series uh, vehicles here, which we made the world debut of this morning, which includes the Tundra, the Tacoma, and the Forerunner. We're in the Tundra right now, and we're actually going to start our course driving up our, our gravity shifter, uh, known as our teeter-totter, but you can hear possibly from the exhaust note the 5.7 liter V8 engine in it with 381 horsepower. Uh, more than enough horsepower and torque to pull and tow and do what you need to do, especially if you're into off-roading. Um, you see that we've got it in, in one of the specific colors for the Pro line, which is what they call the Inferno color, this burnt orange. Uh, but And while that's wonderful and beautiful, we've got some of the IP you know, stitching, tying in that, that uh, interior package, but the real beauty of this truck is what's underneath, and it's not so much the engine and drivetrain as it is in the technology and the suspension. You know, we've got uh, the four track or the eight track system rather uh, that you'll see here a little bit as we go up the articulation ramp because it'll simulate the loss of traction and how the car compensates for that. But the, the shock and suspension changes uh, we've made include a spring change up front, which is a slightly softer spring than the regular Tundra to help make the ride quality still good. But we've gone to a remote reservoir rear shock as well, which leads to better packaging. It also enables us to raise the ride height by about two inches and increase the wheel travel so as you notice as we went over that you know if that were a true off-road situation you wouldn't be bottoming out you wouldn't be hitting any of the undercarriage or even the new the, the great new quarter inch aluminum skid plate we didn't hit any of those things so that's a, a big a big you know plus for the off-road enthusiast now same same thing here we're going through a water pit and we're in two feet of water right now with no issues we're not bottoming out we're not taking on water so to speak we're going to stop here for just a moment and let some of this water drain out behind us as we come out of it so we don't drag it all back up onto the circuit here as you can tell we've done a pretty fair job of that already this morning but um, you'll also notice here with as big of a truck as the tundra is it's got a pretty solid turning radius and even though we've got very slow Sloppy, loose, low grip conditions right here in the sandy, sandy wet, uh, roadway here. It's going through it with no problem. And you'll also notice, you know, that extra wheel travel comes into play here when we're on a situation like driving over railroad ties similar to this, and then you throw in an extreme angle to a hillside as well. And you can see how that really benefit. You know, if we're doing a hill climb, uh, you'll see on the other side here in just a second a steep descent. Um, you've got a vehicle here between the horsepower, the, the technology that's in it from a software standpoint as well as a hardware standpoint that this truck is more than capable of handling pretty much anything you can throw at it. Coming down off the hill here at a pretty steep angle, no problem. Very sure-footed, very confidence-inspiring truck. And one of the other great benefits, and I've noticed this throughout the Toyota line, is that even though you know it's a truck, it steers like a car. So you've got a good, solid, heavy-duty truck feel that you can really push to its limits and one that kind of drives a little bit more like a car. There we go. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.